Joe is just asking about what about guns, the intention of guns. That would be not. Yeah, yeah I know this is a sensitive subject in, in the United States, but the Buddhism is quite, uh, quite clear on guns. You don't, it's not supported to have them and nor to sell them. It's considered a, a wrongful livelihood. So, uh, but it, it is recognized in the time, even in the time of the Buddha, that many people did use weapons because the traditional explanation of somebody becoming a monk is you leave your weapons behind, which indicates that a lot of people did have weapons in those days. But uh, the Buddha, he, he, did, um, he did not often uh, uh, talk so much about the consumer part. He mostly talked about the producer's part. So he said, we should not sell weapons. And that's the end of it. But from the context of Buddhism, that any, anything that is negative, that is that has been designed to destroy, is of course uh, a, a strong, very, very big danger. But I understand that there are places in America in which it's very dangerous to live. And uh, in this case, uh, I, I wouldn't have enough information to make a correct judgment about that. But in my view, um, there is um, a lot to say in favor of learning self-defense and other strategies apart from buying a gun. What about Muay Thai? Sorry? Yeah, so, so, so a lot of uh, martial arts are, more, are far less violent options apart from buying a gun. I mean, compared to buying a gun. So Muay Thai is actually was originally used for self-defense. Okay, these days it's known as a bit of an aggressive sport. But if we use it uh, for self-defense, we do not use it to, uh, to, um, to, uh, to start a fight. Then, then, then we should um, consider that uh, that is a useful thing to learn. But the way it's organized as a sport, it's not good because it's, it's usually, you know, it involves a lot of hurt. <laughs> you know, the, the people who do Muay Thai a lot, they will always, you know, have problems with concussion and all that. It's, it's not a good thing. And the people who encourage such, such uh, boxing uh, as a sport, I mean, not, not as, a, as a sort of martial art, which you can learn in Thailand, but, but as a sport, as it's practiced internationally, it's, it's often involved, um, involves people hurting each other and people encouraging such, such action. But this is not a good thing. But compared to, to violence and use of guns, it's, it's, still, <laughs> it's still pretty limited still. <laughs> what, but what I think, I think the, the motivation is always important. So there are many, mar many martial arts which are uh, lost, a lot less violent than Muay Thai. And uh, these are these are actually many of these have a philosophy of nonviolence in 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 them, and they some of them have also been developed partly in Buddhist temples, but not by Buddhist monks. I should say that <laughs> I should add that. Mm. What where does it like?